What's up, Fairy Tale fans? Soul here, bringing you the newest episodes of Fairy Tale. If you haven't seen them yet, make sure to check them out for free in the description below. Now, for most of the episode, you would think that it's a very slow episode. Not much is happening. It's mostly an in canon filler. And then for everyone who is not reading the manga, myself included, there is just a huge shock at the end. And I'm really excited to see what happens next because that was absolutely insane. But before we go into that, I have to talk about Ultir because she has been one of my all-time favorite characters in the show. Now, we had Ultir eavesdropping on present-day Rogue, plotting to kill him and erase future Rogue, but she keeps going back to what Natsu said about not killing an innocent person, and I really love her storyline right now. It's like Ultir is conflicted between the things she's done in her past and clearly wanting to become a better person. She even tells Miliana that she murdered Simone and it was all her fault, and she'll battle her whenever she wants revenge, and Ultir even says to herself that she's a corrupt person, and it's really sad. It seems that throughout the entire episode, Ultir is just struggling with this idea of killing Rogue, her thoughts about killing Rogue, and like I said, I've always loved her character and I've always felt bad for her since she was basically abducted and experimented on as a child. She was taken away from her mother. I'm happy she's getting more time in the show, and I really hope she comes out of this thing with Jalal and Meldy. I love seeing those three together, but it's hard to tell right now because she really thinks that her crimes cannot be forgiven. However, you can see that she has changed because ultimately she does not end up killing Rogue, and it seems that she's turned over a new leaf. And then on the other hand, you have Kagura who is listening to everything and seemingly even still considering killing Jalal. So what she decides to eventually do will be very interesting. But moving on to Jalal and Urza fighting together again, I seriously love every time these two meet. It's like they're so obviously meant for each other and I'm definitely a fan of Jerza. So these two ending up together is definitely what I want to see. You know that before Jalal was brainwashed, he clearly cared for Urza when they were kids. And it's just awesome to see them back together again fighting on the same side, I hope we get more of that. Now as for the rest of the episode, it just puts a lot of focus on the side characters like Romeo, Jet, and Joy, along with the badass dragon slayers like Laxus, Cobra, and Gajiel are all fighting different dragons, and then you have Sting and Rogue who are fighting a dragon. It just seems like Mashima wants to let us know that everyone is struggling with these dragons and how serious of a threat they are. And then of course you have my favorite character Lucy just rushing to tell everyone about future Lucy's diary, and Flair very, very awkwardly and funnily helping her. I thought that was a really hilarious moment, but then finally you get to the end where Grey has to shave Juvia and grab her ass, and finally Juvia thinks that Grey is going to confess his love for her, he just gets blasted by the dragons, saving Juvia, Hole's getting shot through him, and then one finally goes through his head, I mean this was just such a slow episode, and then it just hits you with a huge character dying. I was not expecting that whatsoever. And at first, I even thought that he was going to be fine, but he gets hit several more times. Honestly, if Grey was going to die, I would have liked to think that a huge dragon was going to take him out, but at least he went out saving Juvia, and they made it seem really serious. But there was a little funny moment before that happening, though sadly they're in the middle of a war, and the saddest part for me really was Ultir's ending in this episode. She just doesn't think that she deserves to live anymore, and already in episode 197, it looks like something crazy is going to happen to her. Her body is just being obliterated, but I'd love to know what you guys thought of Grey's death and what do you think Juvia will be like now? Tell me in the comments below, because Juvia looks like she's just going to die of shock. But personally, I think this will have something to do with the time travel and everyone will either turn to saving Grey or bringing back Grey. And also, what did you think of Ultir's storyline? It seems very serious right now. Also, I have the brand new Fairy Tale Zero Volume 2 pre-order that Hiromashima said that he was going to be working on. I had it imported from Japan and I will be unboxing this on my channel. So leave a thumbs up if you guys are pumped for the next episode. Subscribe and stay tuned for more Fairy Tale. <laughs> Tabini, Namida, Bokura, Eta, Ta.